passion. How do you show passion for the job? Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters. And in today's video, we're going to continue on in our series of videos on doing your research into getting into the mining industry. And today's topic, we're going to talk about showing your passion about getting into the industry. This is an interesting one for me because um, traditionally, especially in underground, whenever you got somebody that came up to site that said to you, oh, it's always been my passion to get into the mining industry, normally those people don't last very long. So typically we try and tell people to avoid making statements like that. But recently I had a conversation with one of the HR people um, with one of the larger underground mining companies and they sort of talked about passion for the industry in a different way that I actually hadn't have thought about before. In Instead of just talking about your passion for the industry, actually showing your passion for the industry by doing something. So what they were talking about with passion was knowing how the mine worked and being able to hold a conversation about what was going on in the industry actually shows the passion that you have for getting into the industry. So if you're trying to get a driller's offsider's job, then you need to do your research into everything that you can do about that. And we've had an example on the page before of somebody that did the research like that to get themselves an offsider's job. And I've talked about that in another video. Now, the reason that they got the job was because they were able to hold that 10 or 15 minute conversation about the industry that they did the research into. And that shows the passion to get into the industry. And I'd never really thought about it like that, like I said before, until I had the chat to the person in HR. But from their perspective, with when they get somebody that's come through that's done the sponsor's training, it shows them the passion that they want because you've actually taken it on yourself to actually learn something about the industry that's going to be practicable for the employer. So just as an example of what I'm talking about, we're going to go over to the sponsor's training and I'm going to log in using my mining coach account. So you log in through the shop area over here into your account and it brings up the dashboard and that takes you into the training and you just click on there. And if we go down and we have a look at ground support, and you'll be able to see that it goes into great detail about all the different types of ground support, how we use them, what you're going to have to do as a nipper to help the jumbo operator install the ground support, chemical bolts, cable bolts, the whole nine yards. And it does that all the way through for all the different areas of the hard rock underground. And when you can do that, when you can show them that you know about ground support and development mining and taking cut and firing a cut and what the escape way is and production mining stopes and pace fill and all the other things that you need to know, then it shows them that you've actually got a passion for the industry instead of just standing there and saying, I've got a passion, which, you know, sometimes, like I said, doesn't necessarily work out well for people. So... My suggestion to everybody is that when you're doing your research, find out the area that you want to go into, then really look hard at the area and find out as much as you can. So when you do get the opportunity to hold a conversation with somebody about the industry that could possibly give you a job, then you can have an intelligent conversation. And being able to have that intelligent conversation, it goes a long way to getting you the job. And that's how people that do the sponsors training get jobs. It's not because you know they've just done a course and ticked a box. It's because they're able to actually hold a conversation with the foreman or the project manager to their satisfaction that they know what's going on about in the mine. And when you've got somebody that knows what's going on in the mine, then all you have to do is put a couple of weeks practical experience into them. And normally you've got a productive member of crew instead of the months it often takes people to get their head around how the mine actually works. So that's what's in it for the employers. And that's why they like to see people that have got passion and research into the industry and they can hold that conversation. And you show your passion by being able to hold that conversation. So that's, that's, that's my recommendation when you're looking at this and you want to show your passion to the employers, being able to hold a conversation about what's going on on their mind site. That's, that's how you show that. 
So I hope you found that information helpful. And if you've got any more questions that you want answered about this, um, getting into the research about getting into the mining industry, please send them through. And if you could like and subscribe the channel. Thanks.